So this is my pre and post workout meal at the moment, which I'm absolutely loving. The fact that cereal is back in my life. So I've got 60 grams of cereal and I've got 40 grams of oats. I am back on structure is because I am doing a show in like eight weeks time. Yes, I am competing one last time before the end of this year. So that's why I'm back on prep and I'm back on a little bit of structure. But I feel like if I do want a few extras, I will have extras, but I feel like they're not needed because food isn't going anywhere. And this is what I feel like a lot of people feel after post show they feel like they have to eat loads of food because they're like when when am i going to be back on structure so i have to eat as much as i can if that makes sense but you've got to remember guys that food isn't going anywhere food is always going to be there so you don't it, you don't feel like you have to eat because you feel oh no when am i back on prep that's how i used to feel and that's how i feel a lot of people feel now is they think that food is gonna food is gonna magically disappear so i need to eat it as much as possible before i get back on prep which isn't the case you need to just enjoy food and not kind of overanalyze it. You just need to literally just have what you want and listen to your body and feel, okay, I'm full now. I don't need to carry on eating this food now. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I need to go, so. So a really good training session with Kerry today. We literally pushed like for two and a half hours. Like we did legs for two and a half hours. We pushed today and it's been so nice to have that energy back again. So like we've both in prep, like I don't know how many weeks she is out, but I'm eight weeks out tomorrow. My first check-in was last Saturday, which was like, six days ago. And I only weighed like 1.4 kilos above peak week weight. So it wasn't actually that much difference after having a week off. So like, as much as people say like, if you have a week off structure, you're gonna go off the rails and you're gonna gain loads of weight, like that's not the case. So for me, that was kind of proving to myself and proving to other people that I can be off prep structure and be off any structure and not go completely off the rails and have control over my food. Um, so it's really nice to be able to say that I've done that and like to prove that to myself I have no clue what I'm gonna be weighing tomorrow, but we'll see it probably most likely is gonna be up Which I'm I know it's gonna be up, but I'm not that bothered about it You don't really, you don't really realise how much you care about something until it's like over and done with. The Olympia list came out today and obviously I'm not on it, um, which fucking sucks. Like, I know that wasn't the goal this year, but like the fact that I was so close, it just frustra it frustrates me so much because like I wanted that so bad. but. This only fuels the fire so fuck like so much fucking harder. Seeing like all my favorite people, my favorite Olympians, my favorite bikini athletes posting like, oh, I'm on the list, like I've got it. Like it really made me sad because I was like, I'm not on it. I missed it by like, I ended up 24th on the Olympia points list and you had to get top 20 to get a qualification. And I think I was about three points away. Do you know what my actual feelings are like? Should I have done another show? Should I have sacrificed doing another show, getting the money together and going to America and doing another show? Like all of that runs through my head now, which is really frustrating. And I knew it would. And that's why I'm like picking up the camera now and telling you guys this and like even keeping this little memory as a diary for me to look back on and be like, this is what's gonna fuel you for next year's Olympia. Like. And when I say I'm going to be at next year's Olympia, I am going to be there. Like, I've never wanted something so much until today, until I saw the list and that I wasn't on it. And that made me just want it even, like, ten hundred million times more. So, like, yeah, it sucks that I didn't get it first time. And, like, the thing is, I wasn't even going for Olympia this year. I was literally going for my pro card and that was it. I exceeded more than I could have ever imagined. And I'm still disappointed that I didn't get what I wasn't even going for in the first place. Like, what the fuck, Phoebe? I was a bit upset this morning when I saw the list and it, it literally, it was like a stab in the heart. But 
this only fuels the fire even fucking more to, for next year. Like, I'm currently eight weeks out from my show in Prague. My eight weeks out mark at the beginning of this year was, I think I was at about six, five kilos up from where I am now. So I'm in, a, in such a better position than I was eight weeks out last time. Um, so like, I can, f I feel like I can go one more time again. A few people have been like, why are you doing another show? Like, you need time to rest. You've been on the go for ages. Whereas I know my body. I know I, I know I can push a little bit harder. I can know I can push a little bit more for this next show. And that's what I'm going to do. In retrospect, like when stuff like this happens, when things that don't go your way or you've realized that, oh, that's, I've, that's something I've missed out on. You've got to relook and reassess all of the achievements that you've done over the years or over the months or over the weeks. Even, even when it comes to lifestyle or competing or anything, anything in life, you've got to reassess. If there's something that you want out there that you missed out on and you need to go for it and again, then you need to reassess, relook at things that you did in the past, see how you can do them better and also give yourself some fucking credit and look at what you've achieved so far because that's what I don't do enough of I really don't I don't do enough of looking at my achievements and being like you've done well like give yourself a break because I'm also such a hard fucking worker like all I want is just to exceed like the best is never good enough in my eyes which is which is a good but bad thing so I will see you in a bit all right let's go in her like sort of mid upper back so you can see her upper back is actually rolling re really well she's got good segmental flexion oh look how pretty the sky looks oh, i just think it looks so pretty right now oh just this is what england has come to by the way people it's raining right now but just had a really nice day in london actually i had an upper body session with jade and went for a massage which was really good and i'm going to explain it a little bit more in depth as to why i'm doing upper body sessions and not like splitting them up and my new split and stuff like that because i think that's going to be really interesting for a lot of you guys um please ignore me i literally look like an idiot right now but um i'm just gonna get in and have my purse work out meal because i trained like two hours ago so i'm just gonna get in now and have that and then i'm gonna talk to you guys some more because i'm such a fatty i've eaten everything before 
showing you guys, but I did have. Post-workout, I had 70 grams of cereal, a protein shake, and about an hour ago, I had a bagel with 10 grams of jam. So that's pretty much what my post-workout is consisting of at the moment. All my carbs at the moment are based around my workouts, and it's always kind of been that way anyway. But I've also got carbs in a few of my other meals as well, which is quite nice, because usually uh, my only carbs is based around my workouts. But now they're based around like other meals like meal four just before i go to bed and then pre-workout post-workout and post post-workout so which is quite nice because usually it's literally all about my workout but i wanted to talk to you guys about my new training split what i'm doing at the moment so i've changed my training split to something a little bit different to take some of the pressure off of my upper body because a lot of my feedback from the judges have been to not decrease my upper body but to just be careful and not to grow my upper body anymore and I did discuss this in my Q&A a little bit but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. My upper body is quite dominant and when I'm on stage with other girls that maybe their upper body isn't as dominant or as lean it makes my upper body look even bigger and even leaner so i've changed my training split now is upper body lower body rest and usually i'll do push pull legs rest so in retrospect i was actually training upper body four times a week and lower body twice a week i was tra mostly training upper body so there's no wonder like my upper body has been quite dominant i'm not as such decreasing my upper body at all. I'm simply just taking a little bit of pressure off my upper body. So another way I could be changing my training split is to obviously decrease the weights I pick up, which I don't wanna do because I love, I love strength training and lifting heavy. So I'm not gonna take that away. Instead, I'm gonna take away how many times I actually train my upper body. Now my new training split is upper body, lower body rest. My upper body will contain completely just upper body. So that'll be shoulders, that'll be chest, back, biceps, triceps, all of it in one session. And then I'll do legs, it could be quad dominant, it could be glutes dominant, and then I'll have a rest and then I'll repeat. So that's what I would prefer to train like instead of training upper body four times a week. Plus, it's something just to change, like just having a little bit of um, a mix up with my training split, because I haven't changed my training split since my off season. So it'll be quite nice to kind of change it and like keep things interesting a little bit. Like I say, it's, I don't ever want this process to become a chore and it's never going to become a chore if you keep things interesting and you're invested into it. So doing stuff like this, I think really helps and it's going to be cool because I'm going to have another recovery day. I'm going to have another rest day, which I think will be really beneficial going into this competition. It's just something that I'm going to try in the next eight weeks coming up to this show. So it's going to be something interesting to try. My meal looks a total mess now because I didn't start filming <laughs> but this is meal two i had eggs this morning um and this is meal two at like three o'clock no four o'clock may i say because i've been so busy today i literally haven't eaten anything but this is meal two i've got 120 grams of chicken a shit ton of salad some cucumber and peppers and courgettes and i'm just watching some youtube so yeah, that's my life right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below videos that you'd like to see in the next couple of weeks because I'm currently in prep and I don't want to bore you with my prep journey the whole time. But if that's what, something that you wanna see, please comment down below because I wanna know if you wanna see me just rambling on about my life. I'm the happiest person in the world right now because I just got a text saying that my jumpers, my no urinability jumpers are going to be sent on Monday and it is currently Friday so I can't wait. I'm thinking and I'm hoping that these jumpers are going to be done by the end of August. Don't hold me to that but I'm really want I'm pushing this launch hopefully for the end of August but obviously I'll keep you guys updated as soon as they arrive. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video.